Santa knows where all the best toys are, and this December, many of the hottest smartphones are just a penny with service at Appalachian Wireless. Stop by your local Appalachian Wireless to check out all of the great smartphone deals that consistently top the nice lists. Oh, oh, this Christmas is truly going to be bigger and better than ever. Better service, bigger savings, that is. Ho, 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 ho. That's today's Appalachian Wireless! They're common sites for much of the year, and they're also common targets for complaints. School buses. Scores of kids ride them every day, and questions of school bus safety often arise. The Letcher County School District is working to address those concerns should they arise surrounding complaints about bus speed. The district is testing new speed recorders on school buses. Arlie Lee, a manager in the school district's transportation department, said the intent is to monitor bus speed and investigate when complaints are lodged about buses driving too fast. With the uh, accident in Chattanooga uh, a couple weeks back, uh, it's brought new attention to uh, speeding. and uh, we, uh, the, the calls have picked up. Lee said the initiative is just in the testing phase, but the district plans to install devices on all of its active buses. The recorders will complement the district's many buses, which already are equipped with inward-facing video cameras. Lee also said the district's bus drivers are prepared for the change. They realize uh, that technology is moving forward and that uh, these things are going to happen. Uh, technology is evolving as the buses get better, the, uh, the camera systems get better, and, uh, and I feel that our drivers are getting better too. Uh, we have top quality drivers that, that uh, are trained efficiently. At a cost around $40 a unit, the initiative will cost around $8,000 to equip all of the buses in regular service. But it's a cost the district is happy to cover in order to ensure student and driver safety. Reporting in Whitesburg for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.